Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by at Books and Jams. Today we're going to be doing an update on my reading goals for 2021. I did one of these updates in May, I believe, for the first four months of the year. Now this is my update for the second four months of the year, so the second trimester <laughs> of the year. We have just a couple months left to go and I would like to check in on my goals, see how I'm doing, and see which ones I need to work on before the end of the year. As you may know, I had lost my reading journal, which is where I keep track of my reading goals. I did find it, but in the meantime, I bought myself a new one. <laughs> it's just plain yellow. I do need to spice it up with some stickers and stuff, but I did transfer over a page to talk about my goals. So here it is, 2021 goals. I just gave myself six goals. I do give myself a Goodreads reading challenge, but I don't really pay attention to that at all because it doesn't matter to me how many books I'm reading but I did have six specific things I wanted to work on. And all of these, well, except one, all of these help me to work on reading books from my shelves. Cause as you know, I have a ton of books on my shelves. So I don't have a specific goal as far as how low I'd like to get my physical TBR down to. I don't, I don't have that as a goal because I haul lots of books and I like to have a lot of books, but I do have some goals to help me read what's on my shelves. So the first one was to read 10 book of the month books. And I did make a little flower that had 10 spaces, um, including the leaf and the stem. And I have completed that goal and some extra. I've read 12 book of the month books and I believe I'm going to get a couple more in before the end of the year. So I'm really thrilled about that. I do have a shelf of book of the month books and there are still a lot of unread ones, but the ones that I've read are The Lost Apothecary, The Four Winds, Miracle Creek, The Vanishing Half, This Time Next Year, Project Hail Mary, This Tender Land, The Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany, People We Meet on Vacation, The Girl with a Louding Voice, Big Summer, and A Rogue of One's Own. So I'm really thrilled that that goal is totally complete. Anything I read from Book of the Month now is just a bonus. So I'm really excited about that. The next goal that I had was to read 20 series. I didn't want to complete 20 series, although <laughs> that would have been a good goal. But I wanted to read 20 books that were in series, just to continue working on series that I'm in the middle of. That's the purpose of the goal. I am not done updating my series page in this new journal, but, and I haven't checked, let's see, here's the journal that I found. So here it is in the old one. This is what it will sort of look like when we are done, when I am done transferring it over. But I most definitely have read more than 20 books that were a part of series this year. Even if I just include the Bridgerton books and the Shadow Children series that I just read. I'm not counting the first book of those series because I just started that this year, but the Bridgerton books are eight. There are eight of them. So I read seven books continuing series and the Shadow Children has seven in the series. So I'll count six of them. That's 13 right there just between those two series. Um, and I don't have the titles of all the other ones, but I've read two books in Louise Penny's mystery series. I read another Maisie Dobbs book this month. Oh, I read Majesty, which was the sequel to American Royals. I read Force of Nature, which was kind of in the same series as The Dry by Jane Harper. I've done a lot of work. I read the second Mysterious Benedict Society book. Yeah, I've just, I've done a lot of series reading, in particular in September. But even before September, I was doing decently with making some progress in series. So I don't know... I just filled in all 20 boxes. Towards the end of the year, I will do a complete look at my series and which ones I started this year, which ones I finished this year, how, how I'm doing with all my series, and we'll talk specifics at that point. But for now, just that's another goal that's completely done. So of the first two, totally done. The third goal is to get my net galley above 50%. I have this year made extreme progress. My net galley percentage at the beginning of the year was a, a horrible <laughs> 16 or 17%. It was very low. And I, I had requested books when I first signed up for net galley, maybe in 2017 or so. And then I didn't look at net galley for two or three years. 
So this year I really have been doing great. I've read 12 books off of my net galley shelves. My percentage has doubled. I'm at 33% right now, which is still nowhere near where it needs to be. My goal is by the end of the year to get it above 50%. So in order to complete that goal, I'm going to be doing net galley November. I know there's a nonfiction November. I will still read a nonfiction or two in the month of November, but in November, I really want to focus on reading some of my NetGalley books and hopefully getting that percentage above 50%. I, I know I can do it. I know I can do it. If I've already doubled it once, and if I stop requesting books, <laughs> that's my problem. If I didn't do anticipated reads this year and request all of those books on NetGalley, my percentage would be even higher. But because I've been approved for so many of the books that I've requested that were anticipated reads, yeah, it just has has crept up, but much slower than it could have if I, if I wasn't requesting books at all. So if I stop requesting books and read a handful more, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I can accomplish that goal of getting my NetGalley percentage above 50%. I know the they say they, the unknown they, say to get your NetGalley, to get approved for a lot of books, you have to have your NetGalley above 80%. And so ideally, I would like to get to that point. But but just know, I am still approved for books. <laughs> Not all of them. I definitely get declined uh, here and there. But I do get approved for books, even with a super low percentage. But that's not where I want to live. That's not the reader reviewer that I want to be on NetGalley. So I'll work on it. Now we're getting to the goals that are not quite done. So I'm making good progress. I've completed two. The third one, I'm I'm on the way. I'm on the road. The next one, book uh, goal number four, is Christmas books. And by Christmas books, I just mean all the books that are on this shelf <laughs> that I have received from Sarah and Lindsay in our Christmas book exchange that I've participated with them for the last two years. I've read six books that have been gifted to me from them this year. So I think that's pretty good. I gave myself eight little spots here. It really should be more because I'd like to read more than eight. But I think what I'm going to do for October, I haven't yet filmed my October TBR. I'm filming that later. But in October, I'm just pulling out three that kind of feel like they stood out to me the most or feel like fall-ish types of books. One of them is The Dreamers by Karen Thompson Walker. One is Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe by Heather Weber. That just looks so fall, doesn't it? I want to eat that. <laughs> and then Keeping Lucy by T. Greenwood. Uh, I would like to read these three, hopefully by the end of the year. So I'm pulling these out. So I see them in front of me. They're going to they're gonna go in a stack with the rest of the books that I'm pulling out to work on goals, which you'll see in a moment. But yeah, if I could get to these three, that would mean I've read nine. Oh, I should have picked four. So it would be 10. A nice even 10. But that's okay. If I can read these three by the end of the year, I would be thrilled. So I'm going to keep those out and hopefully that will encourage me to continue working on that goal of reading Christmas books. I normally like to give myself a specific number. I'm more apt to work towards the goal if I have a number that I'm working towards. It's like when you're working out and you hold in a plank and, the, and they say, just hold it. Well, if I know I have 10 seconds left, I can probably hold it for those 10 seconds. But if I don't know, I don't always do it. <laughs> so I like to give myself specific numbers with goals which is why I said 10 book of the month and 20 series. And notice those are the two that are already done. 50%. So there's a specific goal to work towards. Christmas books. I just wanted to read some of my Christmas books. So technically I'm doing it. I've read six. If I could get to nine or 10 by the end of the year, I would be thrilled about that because we are doing it again. Just saying there's going to be more coming in. The next goal that I gave myself is to read from six new to me authors. Now these are authors that I own three or more of their books, but hadn't yet read any of them. The six authors were Jamie Jo Wright, Pam Jenoff, Billy Coffey, Lauren Wolk, Fiona Davis, and Amy Harmon. I've done awesome on this in that I'm halfway done. I read two Jamie Jo Wright books early on in the year, loved both of them. I read two Amy Harmon books earlier this year, loved both of them. I read one Lauren Wolk book and I loved it. So I'm really excited that I have more from all three of those authors. But that does mean that I have three authors still on that list. So again, I just pulled out one book from each of those authors that feels like I want to read it the most. So I have The Address from Fiona Davis. I have 
Some Small Magic by Billy Coffee, which just looks so fall to me. And it has magic in the title. So I'm like, maybe that's a good October read. And then The Orphan's Tale by Pam Jenoff, which has orphan in the title. And many of you know that is a buzzword for me. Why haven't I read this yet? I really want to read this one as well. And it's World War II historical fiction and deals with orphans and a circus. It's like all the things put in a book. Why haven't I read that? So those three are going to kind of be out in front of my face. And hopefully, I mean, even if I read one a month, October, November, December, I can totally complete those six authors. And the goal there is to just read at least one of those books that I already own by those authors. Finally, my sixth goal here is to read all of my Susan Meisner owned books. And I do have a lot filled out there. I don't know if you could see that light purple, but I only read one of them this past year. So I did read this year, The Nature of Fragile Things, but I don't own that one. So I didn't include that because the goal is to read all of hers that I own. But I have read The Last Year of the War, As Bright as Heaven, A Fall of Marigolds, and The Shape of Mercy before this year. And then this year, I also read Stars Over Sunset Boulevard. So I just have three left. There's a theme here. Do you notice? Three left of her books. And this one feels the most fall to me, A Sound Among the Trees. And then I also have A Bridge Across the Ocean and Secrets of a Charmed Life, which I've heard really good things about. So I'm going to also keep these three books in that stack with all the other ones in front of my face. Again, if I read October, November, December, it's totally possible. But I'm going to keep these out in front of me. And hopefully, this is the goal that I'm least worried about getting done. I would like to complete these other, I don't know. This is the one that I'm, I'm, I have, I have the least amount of hope that this goal is going to get finished, but I'm going to try. It's very doable. It's very doable. And so that is it. Those are my six goals that I gave myself this year. I have completed two of them and I'm on my way with all the other four. So I feel like I'm doing really great with my goals this year. I really like having a limited number of goals and very specific and very achievable so that it's motivating when I do finish a goal. Now I've finished 10 book of the month, so everything else is just bonus. It's very possible for me to complete all of these by the end of the year. I have three months left. Let's see if I can do it. I would love to hear from you. Do you keep a lot of reading goals? Do you give yourself one or two reading goals? How do you do your reading goals and how do you track them? Let's chat about that in the comments down below and how are you doing on your goals? I would love to chat with you about all of these things and anything else you want to talk about in the comments below. You guys know I love talking with you down there. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I appreciate you spending the time with me today. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye!